Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today's video, I'm sure you uh, know from the title, is a haul video um, of fragrances that I smelled before and I absolutely could not stand them. I hated them for whatever reason. Or um, from the fragrance notes and everyone's explanations of what they smelled like, I was like, ew, there's no way. I'm not even going to waste my time. No. So if you're interested to see what I got, just keep watching. So I'm going to um, talk about them in the order that I'm ranking them in. So I got seven um, miss. So number seven, we have Hello Beautiful. This is in the new packaging. Okay, so I haven't smelled it since they changed the packaging. And the scent notes on this are white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, and nectarine cotton musk. <laughs> Y'all. Somebody let me know if they changed the scent um, because this, when I first smelled it, was very sharp, sharp floral. It just smelled like soap and like fresh cut flowers, really sharp. When I went into the store, I wanted a bunch of like fresh fragrances. We're going to do a fresh fragrance haul for spring. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to re-smell Hello Beautiful. And I smelled it and I was like, Hello Gorgeous. No, Hello Beautiful. <laughs> Um, this was a very, very soapy smell, but now I get that nectarine, which I'm not really a huge fan of like, um, citrusy smells. They don't usually smell good on me. They tend to pull a little musty, but this one, this one didn't. It's a, this is a very lightly sweet floral and yeah, it's number seven. So number six. is coconut pineapple i have the coconut um body cream and that one smells so good and i smelled the fragrance mist and it was a very lightly scented mist it didn't smell as good as the body cream to me the notes of this one are shaved coconut fresh pineapple and sugar cane so i do plan on um mixing this one with other with other uh, scents that I have. And because it's a very simple scent, um, probably more, more than likely I'll just wear it with the plain coconut one that I have. This one, is, it's not that I was not going to get this one, but I just thought that I would like either the Bahamas Passion Flower or whatever it's called. I would like that one, the one with the banana flower that one the Bahamas I think it is I, w I thought I was gonna like that one better because I want to smell like banana I was gonna do like a whole banana themed video but I just that one smelled good to me and it did smell like bananas it smelled like an unripe banana it smelled like a green banana and a uh, pineapple but after a while on my skin I don't know it did something weird it did something it, it smelled kind of chemically to me and then the Belize, I think that's the other one that everyone says smells like banana runs. Uh, I didn't smell any banana. It just smelled like crushed ice and daiquiri. And I don't want to smell like an alcoholic beverage, so I did not get that one. So instead, I went ahead and got this one. Unfortunately, it does not have banana in it, so that was a bit of a gas. But it smells really good. It's very sticky. Like, this smells like if you've ever cut a pineapple. I don't know if you guys... When I smell uh, fragrances, I, I sometimes I get textures from them. And this, some people might smell it and say it's synthetic, but I don't think it's very synthetic. To me, it smells like, like a fresh pineapple, kind of sticky pineapple juice. So at first, this was number seven. But now it's number five. And this is Rose. You guys, this is so pretty. When I first smelled this, I want to say I smelled it back in December. This one, I thought smelled like musky soap. I didn't think it was anything special at all. I didn't smell any jasmine necessarily. I didn't pick up on any rose. It was just musky soap. But now, you guys, that like, the seasons have shifted. And I want it to smell very fresh and clean. Y'all, this smells like an airy rose. Like, and I think that's part of the notes. I think it says airy rose water or something. Airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. Like y'all this is a girl who is very 
she's not a try hard she does not try hard at all but you know we wearing we're wearing fragrances so you know we trying hard but she doesn't smell like she tries hard she doesn't look like she tries she is very timeless and simple but while still being very fashion forward and cute you know very stylish very cute very feminine it's amazing to me how different fragrances smell depending on where you are or what time of the year it is because even like at my house like things don't smell as good or sometimes they smell better than they did at the store this is fiji sunshine guavatini now i've heard a couple of people say um that this one smells like candy and you have to spray it on yourself to get that candy effect because i was never gonna buy this one just because i don't know you guys the notes just seemed like Sunkissed guava, fresh orange, and seaside jasmine. I was just like, I don't know. Bath and Body Works sometimes they be doing the most with these awful fruit smells. Like, you never know if they're gonna be sweet or if they're gonna be very sour and tart. I just, I didn't want to take the risk, especially with jasmine. Bath and Body Works, their jasmine sometimes smells a little bit bug sprayish to me, and I love jasmine. Jasmine is one of my favorite notes, but sometimes I don't know. I, I can understand why people say it smells like backwoods and deet. <laughs> it smells like grass sometimes to me, but Sunshine Guavatini, you guys, it's very perfumey, but it does smell like candy on the skin. It smells like an orange tropical Skittle. It is so, so good. And I didn't think I was getting guava at first until... I smelled this one and I'm like okay I could definitely smell the guava the guava is definitely in there because you know they have that scent known in common so I'm like there's something in here that's the same well does it's the it's the guava so the notes to this one are pink hibiscus juicy guava and sun-kissed coconut now I had no intentions of ever getting this I was like oh here we go with another floral they just came out with you're the one I'm sick and tired of them coming out with florals I want to smell like something different well hibiscus paradise is gorgeous you guys if you like at the beach you will more than likely like hibiscus paradise and that is what made me just say for get it i am getting hibiscus paradise because i was not interested in it until people started saying it was a uh, repackage of at the beach now i have at the beach and i did smell them together it's not a repackage they do not smell the same at the beach is more salty it's lighter it's airier it's more aquatic it is the same coconut though. It's definitely the same coconut, but they are not the same fragrance at all. So my top two, you guys, my top two <laughs> are the most infamous Bath and Body Works scents for me. Well, two of the most infamous Bath and Body Works scents because Japanese cherry blossom. I already have Japanese cherry blossom. I don't like Japanese cherry blossom. Um, I don't know why. It smells good for a second, but then after a while in the dry down, it starts to smell very weird. And I don't know what that's about. But this next scent is just as it was just as bad to me as Japanese cherry blossom. I didn't understand it. It was very sharp, uh, powder. Like how is a powder sharp? I don't know, but it was, it caught in the back of my throat, through my face mask. It caught in the back of my throat and made me cough. Gingham. Gingham was horrible. This, to me, was way worse than Japanese cherry blossom. I was like, everybody always talking about Japanese cherry blossom stink. Well, what about gingham? Gingham is horrible. And it really annoyed me because the packaging on gingham is gorgeous i love this little picnic table with the blue liquid i love it the scent notes are blue freesia white peach fresh clementine violet and clean musk you guys this is beautiful this when i smelled it, i said this kind of smells like pretty as a peach and i like pretty as a peach but pretty as a peach kind of smell a little musty to me it smells a little tangy a little tart um but it dries down to be this very pretty kind of lipsticky musky floral scent. But this one, 
does not have that must note at all whatever that is in pretty as a peach maybe it's the peach maybe it's the nectarine maybe it's the nectarine mixed with the jasmine because this one doesn't have nectarine or jasmine in it so maybe it's that that makes it smell musty it smells like body odor a little bit but i still like it <laughs> but this one's so much better oh my gosh i can't believe this was my number one most hated scent this one to me is like it reminds me of like warm weather with a cool breeze and you're in a sundress and you're by the lake. I live in the Midwest, so I live by Great Lakes. I do not live by the ocean. Hibiscus Paradise gives me like ocean vibes. Gingham gives me <laughs> nice warm spring day by the lake vibes, you know. So that one, oh my God, it is so gorgeous. It's like Gingham and Rose are like the same girl. But she's a little bit more dressed up if she puts on gingham. That's that's what it reminds me of. She's a little bit dressed up. And so now we have the number one. My number one scent of this haul. Probably a top contender now for uh, Bath and Body Works, period. You guys, why did you let me go this long without putting my nose to Raspberry Jam Donut? Oh my gosh, like, y'all, this is bae. This is bae right here. Like, y'all was not playing. Wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, warm, fluffy donut, and it smells like all of that. It smells like all of that. Like, oh my God. Like, same thing when, you know, I explained that I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to smell Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, Bath and Body Works with their fruit smells. You don't know if they're going to be tart or you don't know if, you know, they're going to be real sweet, you know. Raspberry, I was tired of it. I have so many perfumes with berries in it. I was like, I'm not buying another raspberry, nothing. And I don't want to smell like a donut. I lied. I want to smell like a donut. I want to smell like a raspberry jam donut. Y'all, I don't even like jelly. I do not like jelly. Not, I don't care. Strawberry, grape, I don't like it. This right here yum delicious decadent are you kidding me i can't believe are y'all supposed to be y'all supposed to be my friends y'all let me go this long without smelling raspberry jam donut how could you do this to me i can't believe this this smells so incredible it kind of reminds me of strawberry pound cake a little bit i'm not gonna lie not gonna lie it smells like strawberry pound cake i love strawberry pound cake i do not have the mist of strawberry pound cake i only buy the body creams because usually i don't like super like uh, super duper gourmand fragrances because they smell a little bit medicinal to me uh, or sometimes they smell like vomit but like y'all come on now this is so good the bake shop line was incredible I mean like incredible I can't believe it took me so long to get this um to me it kind of smells a little bit um like cotton candy a little bit maybe reminds me a little bit of like like a carnival or like some funnel cake it definitely does smell like powdered sugar and a warm fluffy donut for sure um it's very a very pretty raspberry scent so so yeah guys that's the haul of fragrance mist i used to hate or swore an oath i would never buy and now i absolutely love and adore them you guys, if there's something that you don't like and the season changes, maybe try to smell it again. Or sometimes I like things depending on, you know, if it's that time of the month, I will lean more towards scents like Rose. Um, so, yeah, you guys, I actually put this out of order. That's the order it was when I first smelled them the way I just had it but this is the this is the order after having them for a week and wearing them this is the order bomb beautiful gorgeous and actually rose gingham and raspberry jam donut I'm probably gonna buy backups too and the full line because that's how much I really like them I could really see myself wearing them so much that I'm probably going to use them up in the next like three months so <laughs> So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if there are any scents that you used to hate but now you love to. Um, do you guys have any of these scents? Do you still not like any of these scents? 
let me know in the comment section down below please be sure to subscribe and rate this video thank you so so much for watching i'll see you later bye